Hi, Chris. Hey, Guess Rob. what? It's another book report. Rob, is it the same week as the week we were doing the chat, or are we in a different week? Are we pretending? What's we're, happening? We're, we're on a totally different day. Oh, it's really? just a different time zone. Do you know, we Rob? Do you know why, Rob? Different country. Different continent. <gasps> a different continent. Don't say that. Do you Imagine know? that. <gasps> we took a magical plane, and we arrived at the bookstore. Rob. And now we have our books. Rob, do you know what? You inadvertently always sound sexy. The magic. And I inadvertently just fell right into the book report and forgot to do the promo that we were talked about two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to go, will we go, will we go back? No, no, it's cool, it's cool. We'll do it at the end. We'll do it at the end. Okay, cool. We'll do it live! No. We'll do it live! Okay, do you want to go or do you want me to go? I'll go first. Oh, that's a treat. I have a beautiful book. Mm-hmm. This is... Dan Winter's America. Oh, lovely. So, hopefully everybody knows who Dan Winters is. Yeah. Uh, he's a beautiful commercial uh, advertising and fine art, photogra- fine art photographer mm-hmm. in the States. Yeah. He does beautiful work. Just outstanding work. I, I just, I've never seen a published image of his that doesn't work. They're just all great. So this is a book. I this is a book. Honestly, I just got last week. Oh, you're starting to buy books for the book report. Some days in the money. Well, no, I just I just I got a new book. I like to buy books once in a while. Jeez, I treat well, myself. I'm at I the treat minute. myself. I'm struggling to buy bread at the minute, and you're firing out there books. You're going glamping next week. I, oh, on. I can't go. <laughs> Patrick's back at school. Do you know this? You know what you're like. You're like. I nearly said Anne Boleyn, but that's, that's wrong. I, oh, I I'm could, like Anne Boleyn. I could, yeah. I'm going to get your head cut off. No, it's not Anne Boleyn. It's not Anne Boleyn. It's, uh, forget about it. Oh, God. So I, right now I'm holding up a photograph of Angelina Jolie on the left-hand side and Christopher Walken on the right-hand side. Good old Christopher. And they're just beautiful, beautiful portraits. Color? You know, yeah, color portraits. You know, the... Uh, sort of muted tones flesh tones are slightly muted beautiful lighting like uh you know dan dan really likes to do portraiture with um flags and scrims and stuff Mm -hmm. so here's 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 a real iconic image of his this is leonardo dicaprio on the right hand side and he's got a flag in front of the light so that leonardo's left hand side of his head is is slightly in shadow it gives it a very contrast and it separates him away from the background. And he loves to use the ring light oh, okay. as, as a, a catch light in the eyes. Ah. So not only, not only does this book, this book is, uh, oh gosh, I don't know how many pages here. I, 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 did, was it? I think it was a 20 or 30 pounds. No, I, okay. I, I don't, I don't believe in paying more than, you know, 20 pounds for, for a decent sized book. You can source books at reasonably good value, can't you, Rob? Well, this is, this is half an inch. So the width of that is probably half an inch. But the, but the, the thing with Dan is he's not only, a, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. He's not only a, a great photographer, mm-hmm. but he's also an illustrator. No. Oh. So he does these amazing technical illustrations. So right here he has like anatomy illustrations. In the same book? Yeah, in the same book. This is uh, Dan Winter's America. This is what the book is. So here he has, you know, like his drawings of automotive engines, Hmm. which are very cool. And then it goes... Go, it goes down even further to, you know, like real sort of editorial stuff where he'll, this is, uh, you know, the globe mm-hmm. on the right hand side here. He's got a globe and then he's got like a space shuttle, a space capsule going around the earth with a whole bunch of space debris and stuff. I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful work. But he's illustrated. He's illustrated, yeah. Do you know where all, I went. And then, and then oh. <laughs> And then look at this, like, this is like those splashes of, of developer across, you know, photographic paper. So the 
the paper has been exposed and he's, it, this is what it looks like. It mm. looks like paper that it's been exposed mm. and he's, he's literally just painted developer on in certain spots and it's just gone black. It's Real a, simple stuff, but, 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 but it, beautiful. It, but it sounds very eclectic. He's got electron microscope photography. So what, he's got bees and... What weight's that paper, you know, Rob? It doesn't seem heavy. Um, heavy enough? That's a 150 or so, I bet. Uh, matte or shiny? Um, yeah, it's, it's a semi. Okay. Oh. Semi gloss. There's a like. Look at that. That's a look at the portrait of the Dalai Lama. Just a, a wisp of light. Big square frame. Feels like a Hasselblad. Mm -hmm. And then you've got just a wisp of light. And the Dalai Lama's looking off the camera left, camera right. Did you say Jolly Lama? Jolly Lama. Did you say Jolly Lama? <laughs> no. Dalai Lama. God forgive me. It's just great work. I love the book. Oh, here, here's a great photograph of Tom Waits. Uh -huh. Oh. So really low contrast, mm. not a lot of tones. Mm. So we're going from deep, deep background shadows of blackness mm -hmm. to there's no highlights. There's zero highlights in this. You know, the, the brightest part is his left cheek. And it's just a beautiful tones in it. So he's, he's showing off all his skills, isn't he? In this book, is he showboating? Yes, he's showboating. Yes. I, I would say this is this is, yeah, this is everything I got. Let me show you. Like here's a portrait of his dad. <laughs> so there's there's a portrait of his dad, obviously shot like you know on an overcast day down near water, down near the ocean. Mm -hmm. The wind is sweeping his beard and his hair back. Beautiful, beautiful book. I highly recommend it. Um, I bought it at Good Books, I think oh, it's called. Okay. Because because we've we've gotten away from Abe Books, mm -hmm. ABE Books, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's part of it's part of Amazon. Oh, have you moved away from that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is the other company. Yeah. This is the good company. So yeah. a little more ethical. It's all about ethics, isn't it? Yeah, so this is this is Dan Winter's America. It's got Will Ferrell on the cover, dressed up as a spaceman. I highly recommend it. I would give this a nine out of ten. Who's Will Ferrell? Anchorman. Uh, I don't know. Anchorman. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Anchorman. Anchorman. I always use that line to people. You know his famous line, but being what? Well, he's a big deal. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> I'm kind of a big What's deal. What's the line? I'm kind of a big deal. I don't know how to say it, oh. but I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I love so it. So that's my book, Icons and Ingenuity, Dan America, Dan Winter's America. Sounds like he's very brave using America, isn't he? Uh, well, this was published a few years ago. So. In these uncertain times. <laughs> In these uncertain times. Not, 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 not today. You wouldn't, you wouldn't probably get away with that today right now. No, I think there would be, there would be, something, there would be something to be said, I would imagine. Just a small thing would be said. Um, okay, Rob, like, oh, oh, I'm dropping things. I don't know what that Chris, was. Yeah, and Rob, do you know what? your book this week? Well, do you know what? I'm not even going to, pardon me French for burping. I'm not even going to um, start reading this off the computer. I'm just going to tell you what I think. It's not okay. Oh, do you not have the book? Rob, don't keep asking me if I have books. Oh, listen. That sounds like a keyboard to me. Yeah. Oh, there's a dirty mark on the front of it. I keep my books pristine. I don't like to see that. And a splash of something on it as well. Oh, dear. That's not so good for showing people. I am reviewing... Okay, reviewing Ideal Home by John R. J. Taylor. Oh, who's that? I hear you say, Rob. Yeah, you heard me say that. I, th I heard. I heard you thinking, who the hell is that? Well, it's actually it's Ideal Home, a detached look at modern living. Okay, and it's a uh, it's a fascinating study of Taylor's sister's house in North London. Okay, um, who's Taylor's sister? Yeah, it's by it's by John John R. Taylor's sister. Okay, so it's uh, nineteen eighty nine. Okay, it's black and white. 
The foreword is by uh, Mark Holworth Both Booth, okay, who did I think from memory the Golden Age of Photography in 1987 or something. It was an, a, a book about kind of from 1830 something to 1900. Um, going through uh, Fox Talbot's work and all that sort of stuff. Um, he's a curator of photography at the Victoria and Albert Museum, so that gives you a, a, a kind of a sense of where we're going with that. I think, you know, you you kind of get where we're at with the with the, with the photographs, maybe from listening to that. Um, mm-hmm. They're black and white, thirty five mil, and they are photographs of the sisters, I have said, um, and it is. Um, <laughs> What would you say? Uh, the blurb, if you went to it, the blurb says it's an intelligent, an intelligent and interesting um, uh, look at the British upper middle class. Okay, so each image, each image is the, the images are kind of all right hand side. Okay, as you can see, that's not sure that one. Oh, that's actually this one here. This isn't the finest photograph, but let's show this. So on the right, left hand side, image, right hand side. A small blurb by a sister or other family members. Okay, and each one is um, like let's let's start at the very beginning. Okay, so the book is I think it's 79, 77 pages. It's twenty three by twenty nine centimeters. So a nice landscape book. Feels nice in the Was hand. it expensive? No, it's twelve quid. You can get it on for twelve quid. But I would. Do you know, what, what did you buy it for? Um, I think I got it for fiver. Wow. Yeah. I like the source. Good deal. Yeah, but you know what? It's one of these books, Rob. I just am fascinated with this stuff. It's so... If you go onto his website, okay, his website's magic because whenever you go onto it and click on the images, in the middle of every image, it says... And let me just get this right because it's absolutely brilliant. It says, copyright protected image. <laughs> so in the middle of the, every photograph online, that's what it says. Okay. Jeez. Well, now I've been to a talk... By, uh, by by John uh, ages ago, and it was uh, very interesting. But um, so what you get is the image of the uh, the on the right right hand side, and then um, the the top left of the page it says um, of the opposite page, rear bedroom under redecoration in brackets, view through window. Okay, number two, light bulb. Okay. Mm-hmm. Rear bedroom under redecoration, Adidas training shoes. Olivia's room, aged eight. Okay. School uniform. And then it says underneath it, that was her first dot, 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 dot. That was at the ready for the morning. Okay. Made bedroom with portable TV. So where you're getting are these, you know, beautiful descriptions. Bathroom, wash hand basin, bath and windowsill. Okay. So it's really, really formal kind of uh, these explanations, okay? So it's a sister's house, and it's done over the space, I think, of four years, okay? So he's all, you know, he's been going mm-hmm. and making this, making this work. Interestingly enough that it's, um, each image is accompanied by a quote, um, but whenever you look at it, right, whenever you get it, the first thing came into my head, I love looking at books and then kind of thinking to myself, okay, this, this looks like the work of such and such. Okay. Now this does actually, um, strange enough, remind me somewhat of uh, Matthew Finn's book in places. Mm-hmm. There's images that just kind of pop out, um, but also below in suburbia. Okay, which was uh, two thousand. Okay, but it's this kind of a, a softer look than than Bellone's work. Okay, it's uh, it's um, he was working as a newspaper photographer. Um, I think it must be it must be in the states, Liverpool and Livermore Independent or Independent. It was where he worked. Um, it was nineteen seventy three, and we made the work. Um, and it is kind of gritty, and this is much softer, much more upper class English, but not in a um, what do you call your guy? Um, Jesus, names left me completely. Kind of pomp- oh. pompous. Pompous older photographer, lots and lots of money. Um, Doesn't stand up whenever he makes a mistake. Initials? MP. MP? Yeah. MP. Uh, Martin uh, Parr. That's the one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I've yeah. heard of that guy. <laughs> well, kind of, it kind of, it's it, it just, well, you, Martin Parr is not nonconformist, is a rather strange, and I, t- I do love to say this, I, I, I have it downstairs, I'll maybe do it next, next time we're doing a book thing. 
it's brilliant. It's a really good, it's full black and white and it's just really solid, good work. Okay. This is kind this isn't much better. Okay. Oh yeah. But yeah, just much better. It's just, there's a real, there's a real feel. There's just, there's something about it. It's just, you could look at it and it's full of formica and, you know, there's one picture here inside the oven, right? And it's literally a picture inside a sister's oven and it's pristine, glowing, wow. glowing. Okay. <laughs> You know, it's neither straight. It's not even. It's for for the, all the stuff to be so well composed. You know, spatulas with dog dirt, two spatulas with dog poo in the garden. You know, back garden patio with precast ornaments. There's just something about it that is so precise. But some of the photographs aren't precise, and it really throws you. You really want to investigate mm. it. So yeah, mm. five pound. I got it for five quid. There it go. We're just from ten. I just looked at the back. The sticker's still on it. So, it's. Wonderful. Wow. It's wonderful. 77 pages of absolute uh, boring uh, joy. <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I can say that, really, just I'm sure. Go on. The best, you know, the best crack is go on this website. The website's just delicious. It's, yeah. 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 It's kind of Devola without the sass or sex. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So that's me. Um, I absolutely adore it. Um, would it say go out and buy it? I actually would. If, you, if, the, if it was non conformist and this, um, this would win. Definitely. Great. And that's not me having a dig up um, at dear old Martin. That's just, it's just my own personal opinion. It's actually uh, a more interesting book. There you go. What do you think of that? We that's should great. More book I'm looking forward to it. We're so, we're so bad at them. Rob, can I say something? Just while we're on the subject of being bad. If just by any chance, Anybody is watching this, and I don't know how many people watch it. You know, is it 18,000? Is it eight? I don't know. But what I will say is that if you do watch it, hit subscribe and like. And I know it sounds really boring, and I remember I see people doing this, it's kind of cringeworthy, but people always say it, and I know, in a really upbeat way, don't they? If you like it, hit the subscribe button and like. Um, but really, if you do like it, and even if you don't like it, hit the subscri subscribe button and like. You know what I mean? Because I'm sure we will do something that you will like. If, well, if you right. if you put a hundred monkeys with keyboards, is that it? Did write William Shakespeare? Well, yeah, yeah. Will, two William Shakespeare or William Shatner? <laughs> William two monkeys. I think I think William Shatner said that. Did he actually say that? Yeah, I think I think if you put a, a thousand monkeys in a room, mm -hmm. they will eventually write something that William Shatner could write. Well, that that would I would say it would only take a couple of minutes. <laughs> I'm a massive fan of William Shatner. You know William Shatner is an author? Is he? Like proper? William Shatner is a best-selling author. No. He did he did a series of books called Tech Wars that were made into a TV series in the 90s. No. Big time. No. Big time. Oh, yes, absolutely. He's very, very handsome. William Shatner. He's just behind and you know, And you know what else? Yeah. And you know what else? William Shatner used to shop at the Loblaws grocery store where my grandmother was a teller and he would always go to her no whenever he was shopping do you know why rob can i tell you why because i think i've just figured why? something out well it's kind of why? 12 monkeys it's kind of lachette he had access to the future did he ever say anything? did he did your grandma ever say that he said anything like like subs to what subscribe or or or, or <laughs> because I think he's went forward in time, and then he's went back. And well, that's a big coincidence that you mentioned him now, and he was um, served by or your granny was serving him. No, he actually he actually lived in the Bayview area of Toronto. No, back in the day, and he used to shop at the. Gr yeah, he's Canadian. No, he's not. Totally Canadian. Really, totally. William Shatner? Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. That's William why you Shatner's know so much. Totally Do you know what? This is just all rings true now. This is why you know know so much about them. I should have known this at the have very you beginning. Ever, ha, how about this one? How, have you ever seen the Twilight Zone? Yes. With William Shatner in it? Yes, the one where it's on the the ring of the plane. Is that the one? Yeah. 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 You didn't think I'd know that, the did you? The grem the gremlin on the plane wing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pulling apart the the wing. Yes. Ah. Uh, was that? Oh, it was great. But tell me so this: great. How, is he definitely Canadian? Next year, the time Spock had not pointed years, or he didn't write that book about children. Well, how about this? Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. Did you know Leonard Nimoy is an accomplished photographer, or was an accomplished photographer? Really? Yes. He devoted himself to photography 
I think in the la latter part of his life, and he really went whole hog. Now, I remember, I remember looking at his website in the 2000s, mm -hmm. in the early 2000s, and it was very much a 1992 website. It was very mm. HTML. Do you still up? Do you it still up, Rob? Oh, I'm sure it's still up. I'm sure it's still. What up. was his name? Leonard Nimoy. He was, so he Leonard, was a doc, wasn't he? No, he was Spock. He was Spock. What was a doc called? DeForest there? Kelly was the doc. Who? DeForest Kelly. De was that his real name? <laughs> yes, DeForest Kelly. You're lying. No, that was his what name. Was it, what was he called? Bones. Well, it wasn't called the doc. It was called something else. It was Bones. Bones! So anyways, <laughs> Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy liked, liked to shoot naked women. I can see it now. Yeah. And just so happens that I knew one of the naked women. No. Are you going to tell a story? <laughs> no, I'm not. Which one was it? Was it Shakina you knew? No, no I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Anyways, um, I'm not even going to give you initials because the initials would give it away. Oh, they've already given it away. Then they just give it away. Just have to look for initials and give it away. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what I think of them. Yeah, you, I think he should probably stick to playing Spock for the most part. Like, but, but, but look at it, he's been. I can appre I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, and the other William Shatner thing. Listen, because we're getting to the end here. Listen, I really want to. Um, uh, God, what was it called? I'll put it in the in the description below, but if you've never seen this film, you need to watch it. Um, oh, I gotta look it up. Divorce Keep and Jack. talking, Chris. Divorce and no, Jack. It's, it's it's no, it's with it's with Leonard Nimoy. It's with William Shatner. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's an absolute. It's a black and white. You're looking it up now, are you? I'm looking it up. You right know now. what? Star Trek. I'm going to say this right now. It's hard to beat. It's hard to be. And then, of course, you, then once you're into Star Trek, then where do you go next? You're into Mork and Mindy. Do you know what I mean? You're into Mork and Mindy. And then where do you go? It all comes back to the Fonz, doesn't it? All comes back to the Fonz. <laughs> all comes back to Fonz really. So, this movie is called... I'm getting back there. You told me back there. something to do with the beach. No, not on the beach. No. no. It's, uh, it's, um, it was done in Esperanza. Esperanto? Do you know Esperanza? No. Oh, Chris, you could go down this rabbit hole. Well, let's this, stop doing this. This is the only. This is this is the only film that was shot in Esperanza. So Esperanza is a made-up language. It's Esperanto. 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 Incubus. Esperanto. I hope I'm right because I'm going to slap it into you. Esperanto. I am right. <laughs> Esperanto. Am I? There you go. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Am I right? What did and you say? What did you say? Say it a couple of more times. It's it's called incubus. You know, what did, what was the word you said? It would, you thought it was Esperanto. You said Esperanto. Something? What did you say? Esperanto. Esperanto. You guys just go back. It's and Esperanto. Watch, guys just go back and watch that Esperanto. Oh. Look, if, when you've got a, a brain this big and it holds this much information, <laughs> every once in a while, a little bit is going to ooze out. You didn't like that. You don't like making the mistake, Rob. I reveled. I rolled. I rolled in the dog shit of the mistake. I played. So the game. movie, yeah. the movie, the movie, yeah. the movie, yeah, yeah. the movie is called Incubus. Incu I've seen Incubus. Yeah. Incubus, 1966. No. It's a black and white film. Absolutely. Watch it. That's even before it. I was born. It's a classic. It's a classic. And it's, 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 it, the line, they, they all speak Esperanto. Yep. Genius. It's amazing. It many. really is amazing. It's really amazing to watch this. Do you know what? It was created by a Polish, um, Polish guy in 1887. No. Yeah. A rare but alive language. 2013. Oh, it's a very, very small, like there's very few people that actually speak it, but yeah, it's cool. It's. I'm going to learn some. I'm going to say Esperanto. Learn some for next week. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to educate everyone. Okay. Oh, guess what? I guess goodbye is in Esperanto. What? Adieu. Yeah.
of because course, it's it a was, mix of Italian. It was German. Yeah, 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 yeah German. Yeah. It was the Romantic, Romantic languages yeah. and English. I think it was mostly Romantic and English. There wasn't a lot of other stuff in there, but they just sort of blended it all together. It's great, great film. Anyways, William Shatner. Here, guess what? Man, we went off on a fucking wild. No, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. Aceto. Aceto. Seat? Aceto. Aceto. You know what it means? You smell like poo? Listen, no, listen. Ba. 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 Fuck. Ba. 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 Aceto. 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 Give Chris a computer. Give give a monkey a hundred William Shatners and he'll He'll make a William Shakespeare. <laughs> he'll make a William Shakespeare. That's for sure. <laughs> well, Chris, this was great. Rob I'm so glad we great. went off on this wild tangent. Rob, it's not really a photography thing. It's we have to we have to realise that we're just so broad. We're so we're so broad in our humor. It's a creative, <laughs> creative visual thing. Creative. Yeah. How do you go from how do you go from from uh <laughs> From my little home, the es- Esperanto? Esperanto? Esperanto. 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 Okay, Rob, I suppose we should say adieu. That was great, Chris. Thank you very much. Asito. We'll see you again next week. Akito. Thanks. Asito. 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 You sound very Japanese. Hmm. And not in a bad way. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, I hope I'm still recording. Please, Jesus. Yep. Oh, yeah, you got 27 minutes.